Hi, hello Simmers, and today we are making an aquarium in The Sims 4, but not just an aquarium, it's a restaurant aquarium. Well, um, honestly, I wasn't planning to release this one quite yet, and I had to though because uh, I made an eco house, but I lost all my stuff, so... <laughs> Um, I made this one instead. I think I'm still going to release a tour. Um, I think I'm going to do it today of the, the eco living house. I'm going to try to edit it by tonight. And I'm just going to give a little tour of what I did to do and what it's about. I have like a family and stuff made for it too, so that's fun. Um, so starting off this video, I have... Like, I'm looking at the shell, and it completely changes. Not too much, but it changes from what I started off with. So, I know it looks ugly right now, but it gets better. <laughs> um, but I work pretty hard on this one. I actually got an idea um, from uh, another person. I was watching the stream of Little Simsy Simsy Shell Challenge um, one of the times, and someone made an aquarium and I, like I never thought to make an aquarium in the sims so then I'm like aquarium um should I make it just an aquarium or I can do more with that yeah I can do more with that so I actually changed my idea from the aquarium to a cafe and then it <laughs> eventually ends up being a restaurant because I don't know, like, this ends up in Windenburg, and Windenburg isn't known for having a lot of restaurants, which, it makes sense, because restaurants is now part of the base game. So, I wanted to make it so that, um, it was a more versatile world, and they already had two cafes to begin with, because my whole idea was to make this into an aquarium cafe, but, it, there's no point if, there's already two cafes in Windenburg, and I knew this was the world I wanted to do it for because um, I didn't want to do it for Sulani, which would have been a good idea, but I already have some underwater builds there, and also I have a build coming up where I make a pirate ship th themed um, restaurant, or a, yeah, it's a restaurant, and I wanted to use that as an opportunity to do something like a little bit fishy but this one I decided would be in Windenburg and I thought it would be fun because um, not only is it like a very watery world but they don't have a restaurant right now and it's like in my save right now probably the most emptiest world has to be this one and it's completely my own fault, but I know a lot of people love building in this world, but it's just not my cup of tea, you know? And I, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy building in it all that much, but it's something I have to get out of the way with. And there's like a million lots in this one, which is great to have all those lots, but with all the Tudor style homes, like, I don't really build those types of houses, I'm more of like... Mediterranean modern type builder, I would guess, or like I like doing um cute fantasy mansions, so <laughs> I don't think I would fit well into that. And um, but I have fun when I do a Tudor style build, so I'm not complaining. Um, I actually am hoping this audio comes out good because I'm recording on my new microphone which I'm so excited to have I just got it in the mail today but weirdly enough when I got it the um it was from Amazon and the package was already opened and I was like dang what if someone messed with it but the the package itself like didn't have any like marks on it or anything like that I think the the thing that it was in just like opened itself on its way here because that's just what packages do and as you can see here I'm trying to I wanted to get fish in here and I know there's a technique you can use where you 
can get fish from like either like the the fish tanks or a like the coffee table and I saw Simlisty do it in her underwater build and I just couldn't figure out how to do it and I just wanted fish in here but it's okay if there's no fish um I think the restaurant is more on aesthetics than um, if there's fish or not, and plus it's a more humane way to have a restaurant of this genre and to run it. And like, there's a lot of restaurants and stuff like that who have like novelties and stuff, but their novelty isn't really there, and they just, it's just that theme. So, I included this thing in the middle to... I don't know, brighten up the, the thing, and I feel like the kids would find it cool to go there, like, and they would be like, oh, I want to go to this restaurant, because restaurant, cause they have this, um, and I thought that was cool, and I made the whole thing blue, the only thing, I used the tile, and I didn't realize till after, and I didn't really want to necessarily change it, but I used the tile in there, and it's like a 4x4 a four four tile, so it's uneven on all the sides, so, um, you can see lines in it and I kind of didn't like that look but I think what I was going for is there and it didn't matter if it had um like the lines or not um but it's really dark in this restaurant right now and I don't add the lights until a second later and that's what I find with a lot of my builds I don't add lights at a normal time like everybody else does but eventually I get there and it looks nice but I hope that doesn't like bother anybody too much because that's just how I build and I've been watching a lot of sim simmers like just in general and I realize I do this and I see people build different ways like some people start off with the lights some people do the landscaping first but I realize I I do the outside then I do the inside and I throw the lights in somewhere not at the beginning and then I um I do the landscaping like last and I don't know because that's just like a finaling like a finaling <laughs> a finishing touch it just makes the building feel finished and it feels nice when you're done with your plants because then you're like oh I'm all done because I don't know, for me, like, when I see, like, if I did the plants first and I built the whole thing, I would feel so upset because it's like the whole outside is done, but I'm not complete. <laughs> and, um, that's just how I build, and I'm sorry if you don't like that. Um, but I added these little light, or, well, they were big lights, and I sized them down into the, the little aquarium thing, and then... I grabbed these photos from, um, there's a secret menu that a lot of people know about, but just in case you don't, if you do BB that show hidden objects, there is a list of debug items you can have, and we've always had that, but then you can also do BB dot sh um, show live edit objects, and it gives you an even bigger list of debug items. And this one came a part of Suwani, the, the pictures on the wall. And I really enjoyed using them. And I felt like it made it full, full earth. And I realized I never told you guys when I decided I made this a restaurant. But basically when I put in the, the tables for the, the cafe, I was like, no, this is a restaurant. Like, I, I put in just the little barista stand, and I was like, no, this isn't going to work. And then you saw that I put uh, the chef stations in instead. And then I completely went restaurant mode, and this is, I started adding in the bathrooms and stuff like that. And they're gender neutral bathrooms, so if you feel like there's not like a lot of representation, um, at least this is a good way, uh, we can break that mold, you know, and I started doing that ever since, I gotta give a lot of my credit to Little Simsy, because I never thought to 
do like the gender neutral bathroom and um i actually have a brother who is transgender um which means he grew up female but he was actually um male and i like i just never thought about that and i'm thought it was cool even with like my own perspective and my own life um i didn't think of something that simple in the sims but I um, started doing it in a lot of my builds, and I hope you guys like that and enjoy that. And so I I added the waiter and host station, and then like this whole like waiting room lobby thing looks. I I like it. I like how it turns out. If anything, I wish it was a little bigger, cause normally if you're waiting for a spot in a restaurant, you have like a bunch of seating because it takes a while to sit down but there's like a million tables at this restaurant so I don't think they have that problem <laughs> uh, I don't know maybe it is like really really busy but I don't even think I put lot tricks on this one and I think I'll go back and do that but if I did I would pick like the covetal trait which it, it just makes more people show up to the, the place but I saw this table from um, Get Famous, and I was like, I have to use it. And then the chairs, the blue, it just blew me out of the water. I didn't even make, mean to make a, a pun there, but the, I did. <laughs> but I was looking for a matching table for um, that big one, because I wanted little ones, and they didn't have any, and I was so upset. So I just used the um, luxury party stuff table with the sequins on and I think it it fit in really well with the with the table itself because not a lot of, like I don't know like there's like this little shimmery thing on the side of the the table like the big tables and then there's just I don't know they fit really well in my head together and I think it made it look all complete and I wanted to have little tables and big tables but I really wanted to use that big big table and so here I'm realizing I did not put any aquariums in yet like any fish tanks in yet and so I had to do that and some of them I squished into the wall a little bit just so they weren't as bulky um, because the fish tanks in this game are really bulky I wish they were just a tad bit smaller because not everybody has like fish tanks that big and then the only other fish tank in between those fish tanks and um that are the the really little ones that I put on the table right now and I actually enjoyed that as a centerpiece I put fish bowls on all the tables I don't know if your sims can eat there on the little tables but I'm just hoping they can and then I just go in I'm finally putting in like all the lighting I put in um the tiny living lights and I think it looks cute. I think I may have started doing that outside, which is weird. I never usually do that. And I just want to say I apologize. I don't know how well, like, the sound is. But if you hear, like, anything in the background, I do apologize for that. Um, I'm hoping this microphone works really well. But I live by an Air Force base, so I get a lot of planes. And then I live in a neighborhood with a bunch of dogs. So... You might hear like planes and dogs going by. Um, I put that door in at the beginning of the build but realized I forgot a staircase and I had to put the staircase right next to the aquarium that I built. And then so I put like a single tile door which I don't like doing it all the way at the end but I don't think I mind it in this build like it doesn't look too bad. And it's a part of the roof you don't really notice. And then, honestly, this, um, second floor, I had a little trouble building in. I think I, a lot of the times I have trouble with second floors in restaurants, because, well, A, you want it to look nice, but you don't want it to look too busy, because, um, when you're actually playing, when you own the restaurant, it's hard to get through, like, all the tables and stuff if there's stuff in between, so, I had a little trouble figuring out a layout and like I only usually put like tables and stuff on the top which is what I did for this one as well and I feel so bad because I wish like 
I did something cool, I guess. It, like, because it, it's just like any other restaurant in the second floor, but I really did enjoy the first floor, and the build itself, I think, is worth it, just having that first floor. And the second floor was more of a, a second thought, because I was going to have it all on one floor, but when I was making the shell, I realized, I'm like, this is Windenburg. It would look so weird if there was not, like, anything on the floor, or, like, any second floor, because it's, like, it's just too short. And I actually added, like, hype chairs and stuff for, like, your toddlers, so if your son has toddlers and they want to bring them there, they can actually eat there with the family. So I had that done on the top tables and I made sure they were at the big tables so if it's like a big family then they can have a toddler sitting there and then they're a big family and I'm sorry if you have more than one toddler because I only put one toddler chair at each one I should have thought of that a little bit like I could have had some of the little tables have two toddler chairs um but here I am I'm putting in a, a few more of those pictures um but I don't know, like, the walls are bare on, on this floor. I don't mind it. Like, it, it still looks classy, and I still like it. And then, it's just not the first floor, you know? But I really liked how this restaurant came out. I wasn't expecting, like, I was expecting a high bar on this, this one. And I think my expectations were met, like, more than I thought. Like, I thought I couldn't pull it off. And then, like, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, oh my god, I built that. That was me. <laughs> and I just went in and added a few carpets. I added um, big carpets, and then under some of the tables that went against the wall, I put, like, little blue circle carpets. And I, I liked using that rug, and I enjoy using that rug throughout the whole, any time I use it. And... This little roof piece, I didn't roof for a while, and I was surprised, and I almost didn't roof it, I don't think. But, good thing I did. <laughs> but, um, there you'll see, I, I don't know if it's shift or alt, but I shift slash alt clicked, and then when you do that, it only does half the, the roof, and you can pull it in a little bit, and that's what I did. And, um, the other side is still the same length, so if you don't know how to use that one as well. And I put these outside tables. I love these tables that got, um, came in to get to work because they're, they're really cute. Um, I like that they're just there and, um, I enjoyed using them. They clash a little bit, but I like how they clash. And I, I put them in all outside. I end up adding a, like, back porch kind of thing. And I think it looks really nice. I'm going to be so honest, I don't know if I added flooring on all of the decking, so that's fair warning. I will probably go back and make sure that I do, but if you're like, Javier, you didn't put any flooring, I do apologize. <laughs> um, that's the one thing I think I forget, that and like roofing pieces, I forget to add like uh, a texture to all the time and I feel bad and I've been into like sizing up the the little bushes with the flowers for a while now and I think it looks nice in all the builds that I do I don't think I'm the best landscaper like I watch everybody else landscape like all the other Simmers landscape and then I'm like dang I'm sad <laughs> but um a lot of my inspiration comes from that and actually, like, I remember I used to do, like, the big landscaping, like, um, Hatsy did, um, when she was still Hattie Sims on YouTube, and, um, but I think I've developed my own style after that, and I like it, but I still, like, take inspiration from other people, like, Little Simsy, and, um, like a bunch of um sim user youtubers <laughs> like the sim supply and all of them i especially like um sim lissy um i love how she builds uh it's it meets your expectations times a thousand and i 
do wish someday like I build like that because like you you look how she like you see the whole process and then you're like how did you come up with that and then um she just does and she builds in a weird way like I'm not saying weird in like a mean way but she does build like differently than a lot of other people and I just think it's cool how she builds um but all basically all sims youtubers to me they're they're really good builders and I try to to aspire to be as good as some of them and I really do like how I build I usually like how my outcomes come out and I think they look cute and at the end of the day you should like your build and that should be everything to you and I'm pretty sure the build's coming to a close I think I'm just adding a few more things looking around a little bit um oh I added the the lights and the outdoor lighting but yeah that's it and here are the screenshots and bye